Hello and welcome to Coastal Now. I'm Robin Russell. CCU is known for developing effective educators. It's woven through the fabric of the university's 60 year history. In fact, 70% of teachers in Ori and Georgetown counties are graduates of CCU. Now, many of those teachers are stepping up to become education leaders, and they are able to get their graduate degrees right here at CCU. We caught up with a few of our master's level graduates, and here's what they had to say. Students, as you go through the halls today, please remember to be responsible, respectful, courteous and kind, smile, and be nice to everyone you meet. And everyone have a great day. I came to Coastal six years ago uh, to help inaugurate the initial uh, cohort of the Educational Leadership Degree Program at the master's level. And that is a program where high school, middle school, elementary school, preschool teachers are preparing themselves to become school administrators. We're very proud of our alumni. Um, obviously, we're a young program. Uh, we've now had three graduating cohorts. And we already have, one of our graduates is a school principal. There's a number of them that have assumed assistant principalship positions in, in uh, the local school systems. I taught for five years at Georgetown High School and during that time I also did the Masters in Ed Leadership program, which I completed I believe in December of 2012. The MED program was a really solid foundation. I think as a student it introduces you to some of the major concepts that you need to understand, anything from school law, which is incredibly significant, to working with scheduling, public community relations. I knew from when I started teaching that my ultimate goal would, would be to, 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 I guess, climb the educational ladder. That's one of the things that was so great about the MED program is, is that you, your professors are people who have been through it all. During my time in the classroom as a teacher, I started to have some responsibilities. Um, department chair, technology facilitator, which took me out, outside the classroom and I started to get involved with teaching teachers. So that's kind of how I started to say to myself, I really like the curriculum piece and I, I think that's the, the route I want to go. Probably after my third year of teaching and I started to get comfortable as a teacher, um, started thinking about well what else can I do in education and it wasn't because I didn't enjoy teaching uh, I still enjoy getting in the classrooms now but I just thought I could do more so that's when I started looking at the educational leadership degree that uh, Coastal was um, gonna start and uh, once they started that program I jumped on it and, and got involved in that program um, and was fortunate enough to get a job right away. We began about uh, three and a half to four years ago planning the next step which is the education specialist degree. The difference between the two is, is that the master's degree program qualifies people at a building level position. The uh, educational specialist degree qualifies them towards more district level positions and would ultimately qualify them as a superintendent of schools here in South Carolina. I think their ultimate goal is to connect with another school to, to be able to get to that PhD level. And that is definitely something I want to pursue. I think that having the EDS program there is, is a great entryway into that. Um, my ultimate goal is to one day be the superintendent of the school district. I think it's incredibly important for Coastal to offer these new programs. I know a lot of us are hoping for them to eventually get the doctoral program for Ed Leadership, but the EDS is just kind of a stepping stone. People in Horry County who have gone through the MED program, that's a lot of our vision, is to hope that they get that uh, doctoral program because I think a lot of us will go through it. You know, they're going to be building seven new schools, I think, in the next five years in Horry County. So that's, um, you know, seven new principals are going to need. So any program that can advance um, our educational knowledge and prepare us better for being those leaders in those new buildings, I think is an advantage for Horry County. And for, for Horry County schools to work so closely with Coastal Carolina, it benefits both programs. You know, the college has benefited and Horry County schools has benefited. Media literacy and understand what you're doing in your life and 
try to be more successful than you already think you are by getting that job you've been working for for the last four years and the last years of your high school and get out there and understand what you're doing in your job and be able to help not just yourself but your family and everybody around you. I would say follow your heart and don't be afraid to dream a new dream. Uh, good luck, I guess just never give up, always work hard. Good jobs, you know, don't be a bum. I guess don't forget about us here, don't forget about the school. For the graduating class, I would definitely say stay more involved uh, with, the, with the school. Uh, be a good alumni, you know, kind of give back and uh, stay connected. Coastal Carolina University's Athenaeum Press has released a new publication produced by students. The book is called Wealth of Nothing, Rules Southern Life Through the Lens of William Von Auken Green, and it features photographs, poetry, and portraits of Horry County life in the 1930s and 40s. Here's a recap of the book launch recently held at the Horry County Museum. William Van Auken Green did not merely photograph poor people. He was one of them. He didn't own a car. He hitched rides and walked the dirt roads of Horry County with his camera. These images tell us more than merely the history of Ainer, however. It is a reflection of hundreds of communities throughout rural America struggling with common problems. Good people living through bad times. Walden Graham had purchased the old Dossie house where Mr. Green had lived and worked out of. And uh, Tom said he came by and they were burning all the old stuff, magazines and papers into the house outside in the yard and he stopped them and he recognized these negatives were being burned along with a lot of other stuff. So he started raking out the fire and he recovered a five Piggly Wiggly grocery bag full of curled up negatives. Well, as director of the Athenaeum Press, one of the real joys of working um, on these projects, and certainly this one we're premiering today, um, featuring the, the photographs of William Van Auken Green, is watching students from several different disciplines come together learn about the information, figure out how to best tell the stories in front of them, um, and then really at the end of this semester, for example, produce a project, a book that is of top quality um, and is important to this community because that's our mission. I think one of the most important things that I learned, it's part of what the title of the book tries to uh, encapsulate, I think it does it fairly well, is that you can have a lot of value in your life even though it's simple. The simplicity of your your life doesn't dictate that you're sad or downtrodden. Everyone wanted to be photographed of what they had, right? There's a lot of photos of cars, there's a lot of photos of instruments, animals, families, and they wanted to show what they had. And I think they're all, they all seem happy. The collaboration with Athenaeum Press and Coastal Carolina University, uh, the partnership here, has been beneficial on so many different levels. Uh, for starters, of, of course, you know, being able to publish this collection and make it available to the public is a, a terrific win for the Horry County Museum and uh, the Horry County community. theatrical production, you are only getting the final product. What you don't see are the many intricacies that make the production come to life. Well, here's your backstage pass. Come along as we visit one of my theater classes for an inside look on how stage makeup transforms a character. This class is basic stage makeup. I teach it every spring. It fills up quickly. In fact, sometimes I have to have two or three sections and we just kind of pile them on top of each other and, and do an all day Friday thing. Today we did face casting, which um, enables them to learn the process of making a face. And then afterwards, they will use modeling clay to um, put on top of their fa um, face cast and um, make a prosthetic piece that's just for them. 
first it's this gooey stuff that's purple uh, and that's what actually goes onto your face and then we put plaster over it and then that keeps it hard and so we can then take it off. Last week was Animal Week and I did a cheetah and it was all about the intri intricacy of each spot and the highlight and shadow and emphasizing those and um, so it builds on itself and if we ever don't have someone to do our makeup in the theater for us, which how many people get to, we have the understanding and capability of doing that for ourselves, which is really valuable. It's one of those things where we say we're building a whole artist. I mean this class you have to do. Um, you have to do every time you come to this class. It's not about lecturing and talking. Um, you are constantly doing whether you know how to do it or not. It's all about just jumping in. Why are you um, such a mess? <laughs> well, I stay clean. I don't know what happened here. I don't know if my system was not working hard enough. <laughs> Just part of the job every day at CPU. Donors who contribute to scholarships at CCU are making higher education possible for many of our students. Let's meet some scholarship recipients to hear how the scholarships they received have made a difference. Hi, I'm Mark Roach, Vice President for Philanthropy. I want to take this time to personally thank you for your continued support of Coastal Carolina University. Your investment is having a tremendous impact on our students. My name is Dylan Fender and I am Coastal Carolina University. My name is Nadee Beatty and I am Coastal Carolina University. My name is Ashley Bartek and I am Coastal Carolina University. My name is Devarier White and I am Coastal Carolina University. I'm currently a senior here at Coastal Carolina University studying psychology. I want to work with children and families in at-risk communities. I am studying exercise and sport science, and my plans for the future are physical therapy. Currently, I'm studying political science with a minor in philosophy, and I plan on going into constitutional law with that, with the goal of one day holding political office. I'm studying finance here at Coastal Carolina University, and following graduation, I'll be starting my dream job with Navigant Consulting in Washington, D.C. I would just like to say thank you to all of the donors to Coastal Carolina University because their money does allow students like me to fully immerse themselves in the academic experience and that's something that I find really valuable. Without this financial support, I may have not been able to attend Coastal Carolina University. On behalf of both me and my family, I would really like to thank the donors for all that they've given and turning my dreams into a reality. Your donations have helped not only me, but countless other students achieve their dreams and achieve far more than they ever expected. You've changed my life and hopefully I can change others with the gift that you've given me. And I really want to be able to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to better myself personally and professionally, not just for myself, but to be a full and perfect representative of this university. Because of your financial support, I am Coastal Carolina University. 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 Thank you. Let's check in with CCU's social media expert, Brent Reeser. Welcome to the Social Circle. Running a social media program for a university is fun, stimulating, and rewarding. It is also a lot of work. Managing 10 different social platforms, providing constant content, and thinking up creative ways to engage our audience here at Coastal keeps me busy. Luckily, I don't do it alone. Since September, I have had a student intern helping me with CCU social media. Since Jada Bynum's first day, I have given her the keys to interact directly with our large audience. While I do have her completing smaller tasks, such as sending out prizes to our social media winners and polling analytics, the majority of her work is much more impactful and hands-on. 
She is responsible for running our Snapchat, Pinterest, and Google Plus accounts. In addition, Jada contributes content daily to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts. It is my pleasure to now introduce our social media intern, Jada Bynum. Jada, do you mind telling our Coastal Now audience a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm a junior uh, marketing and hospitality double major at the Wall College of Business, and I'm also a member of the Wall Fellows Program, class of 2016. The Wall Fellows Program is a highly selective leadership development program. We take part in volunteering and special workshops, um, and we'll be taking a study abroad trip coming up in May. Over the past two semesters working with CCU Social Media, what would you say you've learned? I would say that social media marketing is all about storytelling and engaging your audience. And we do that by posting unique videos, photos, contests, anything that really grabs our audience's attention and connects with them on a personal level. And then looking back at the internship, what would you say has been your favorite moment? My favorite moment would have to be one when we did the snapshot takeover. That was super fun to go around campus and get interesting snaps of different activities and wildlife and just all sorts of things. And then two would have to be when the Pinterest account reached over 300 followers. That was a huge accomplishment for me. Thanks, Jada. <laughs> I'm thrilled to announce that Jada will return to the Office of University Communication next fall to continue her great work as our social media intern. Having Jada back next academic year will help ensure that CCU social media continues to make great strides. Robin, back to you. Thanks, Brent, and thank you for watching Coastal Now.